Hello there. Today we are going to install Pop! OS in a PC with Legacy BIOS. So let's begin. At first we have to download the Pop! OS ISO. Follow me to do so. The website has detected that I have a NVIDIA GPU, so it is providing me ISO of Pop! OS, with the NVIDIA drivers pre-installed. It will detect a graphics card present in your system, and will provide you the relevant ISO to you. I have already downloaded it. We need to create a bootable flash drive containing Pop! OS to install it in our system. We need a program called Etcher to do so. I will leave a link in the description. You should plug in your USB drive before launching this program. Now browse for the ISO that you have downloaded. Then click on Flash to begin the process. Now reboot your computer and boot into the USB drive. The setup will automatically launch once you successfully boot into Pop! OS. Now, you can install Pop! OS into your whole hard drive but that will erase everything. We will create our partitions manually for this video. I am installing this into a new hard drive so it has nothing on it, but your case may be different. Skip this step if your case is not same as mine. Creating a new file system will erase everything. Be aware. Now we have to create two partitions. One is your Linux partition and the other for your swap. The Linux partition can be of any size greater than 25 GB and the swap partition has to be at least of 512 MB in size. Now once you are done creating your partitions then hit this check mark to finalize your partitions. Then you can close this window. Now the partitions you created take a second to change here. Once the new partitions are visible, select your Linux partition and click on use this partition, and then do the same again for the swap partition, but make sure that it says swap in the menu. Now click on erase and install to begin the installation. The installation has now begun and we have to wait until completes. I am fast forwarding the video till then.
Now we have successfully completed installing Pop! OS in our computer. Now reboot your computer and start using Pop! OS. I hope that this video has helped you. If so, then please hit the like button and subscribe to watch more videos like this. Thank you.